So I went to a gas station to fuel up and get food of uh, questionable nutrition, and I get in line behind what I assume to be a woman, still not too sure about that one, with a pink tube top and dreadlocks. And keep in mind, this is a gas station in Las Vegas, so I can't prove it, but I had a strong hunch that the pungent smell of cat urine originated from this lady about town. Now I'm a scientist, not a judge, but if you put a picture of her on an album cover and asked me to name her Ben, I'd probably say Mary or Jane somewhere in there, and go with the assumption that this was a pan flute and sitar Ben. But anyway, she gets in an argument with the cashier about her beer. Here we go. Which, whoever the whoever had the bright idea to sell beer in every gas station on this arm of the galaxy, I do hope you're proud of yourself. But just as I was prepared to wait them out, another cashier said he could help me at his register. I think this saint of a man buy my gas, coffee, and churro, don't ask. Then make my way back to my car and fuel right up. That's when I see this cat pee flower child step out of the grocery store and make a face like one of the nearby cacti took residence up to her ne nether regions and dropped to her knees screaming at the top of her lungs, THERE'S SOMETHING WRONG! And she just starts flinging these beer cans in every random direction. I'm as terrified as everyone else in the parking lot, ducking behind my car, still halfway done filling up the stupid thing. It's a few minutes before the police show up and restrain this uh, beast. Now guys, I know, I know we all don't go the same path we planned since we were 10 years old or whatever through our lives, but if you ever wonder if you're ever worried or wondering where your life is going, well, let me give you a line of serious concern you should consider drawing. And as far as that goes, all I'm going to do is give you a mental image of a half-dressed dirty woman with dreadlocks pressed up against the hood of a police car on a 120 degree Fahrenheit day, crying as the officers cringe at her scent, and from there I'll let you make your decisions. Ah, uh, like I said, not a judge.